What's up, guys? It's Ed, and in today's movie with Rhino. Hey, hey Ed. What? What's up? Can, can you just clap real quick? Uh, clap. yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. All right. What's up, guys? It's Ed, and in today's movie with Rhino, we're gonna be talking about how to sync or match audio easily when editing your videos and posts. So let's do it. So just like I told you, today we're gonna to be talking about how to sync your audio levels seamlessly and easily when editing, but first we need our cinematic sequence. So the first method of syncing your audio levels when editing your videos and posts is to not syncing at all. And the way to do that is to take your audio source and pump it straight into your camera or connect it. And there's three ways you could do this and that's with a boom mic. And the boom mic is awesome because it sounds crispy. It just sounds the best. But the only downside of the boom mic is that it uses an XLR cable and most mirrorless cameras or uh, DSLRs don't use an XLR cable, which is the downside of it. However, the next method, which is with a lav mic, which is what I'm using right now, and what you're listening to, is great because it uses a wireless receiver. So you get the closest of the boom, but you don't necessarily have to be that close to the camera, which is great. Lastly is a shotgun mic. Shotgun mic is obviously still good. Doesn't sound as good as a boom or a lav, but the beauty of it is it also goes straight to your camera so you don't have to sync anything in post. The next method is by syncing your audio levels with some kind of loud sound or a slate or a marker. And so what a lot of people you see on film sets, they'll use a slate, insert slate there, but that's what they use to get that audio clip just to make sure that they can see those levels in post. A lot of times people will clap. And that way when you're uh, editing your videos, you can kind of see that spike in audio levels. And that's kind of what's the indicator that you kind of sync up the two audios. And it's really easy so you're not reading lips all day because you'll be editing your video for probably hours if you use that method. The last method to sync your audio easily is by using a program or a software to do it for you. Uh, in Premiere Pro, you can actually pull that off by just merging the clips. It's a free way to do that and it's really easy to do. You just basically choose the two clips and you hit merge clips. The common way we do it here at Rhino when editing in post is using a program called uh, Pluralize. It's made by Red Giant. It's really awesome. All you have to do is put the two clips that you're trying to merge together in a sequence and you hit synchronize and boom, just have perfectly synced audio and it took literally five seconds, which is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The reason why we wanted to make this video is so that we can share the tips that we have when syncing audio um, in post so we can make our, our workflow a lot faster and a lot easier. And we're all about workflow here at Rhino. We wanna make sure that we're saving time when we can because it matters in the filmmaking process and the editing process. Another important thing to remember is that if you don't have good audio, your audience might get disengaged. And no matter how epic or how cinematic your clips look, if you don't have good audio, it could literally ruin your video. So make sure you have good audio sources like a boom or a shotgun even or a lav mic. It will really up your filmmaking game. So if you guys like this video, make sure to comment, like, or subscribe, or ask us any questions that you guys may have, and we'll see you guys next week. What's up guys? If you're still sticking around uh, and you haven't closed out of the window, I kind of want to show you guys how we shot this episode and what gear we use. So yeah, let's do it. So first off, the light. We're using the light panels Gemini. Uh, pretty bright. Uh, it's really awesome because we can set the settings of the Kelvin and we can dim it down if we need to. For stabilization, it was looping on a Rhino Slider Evo. Camera is Sony A7R2. We had the Rode Video Mic. No, no, no. Yeah, Rode Video Mic Pro. Uh, shotgun mic, Manfrotto 496 RC2 ball head for those of you guys that want to know. Camera over here, A cam is the Sony FS5. We're using a small HD monitor. Um, yeah, and the boom mic right here is pumping into the Sony FS5. And then I'm wearing the Roadlink wireless filmmaker kit, the lavalier mic, and the receiver actually is on Brandon's camera who's filming right now. And then earlier in the cinematic sequence where you saw us 
uh, taking some photos over here. We're actually shooting the thumbnail for this video. And how we shot that was we just grabbed all the audio that I just mentioned, laid it on here. I got up here, shot a photo, and yeah, thumbnail. And these little light panels we're using are the photo diox LED panels. Pretty sure. Yep. Um, yeah, if you guys want to know more about lighting or you have any questions about gear, let us know in the comments section and we'll be sure to answer them. See you guys next week.